Alright, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants doing another free agent film breakdown. And we're looking at Buffalo Bills, now New York Giants running back Matt Breida. I really do love this signing because of his speed, speed, speed. And, you know, they're most likely getting him on a very cheap deal. That's what they got him for in Buffalo. They got him for like the vet minimum. And we get to know how he uses him because this is how uh, Brian Day will use him. So he's not going to use him as some bell cow, uh, uh, bell cow back. But they're going to use him trying to get him outside the tackles. And I think he's got good vision to cut stuff back up when linebackers are overflowing. We're going to go through all that. He's a real threat in the receiving game as a screener or just running routes. So this is this is an exciting signing for a running. Like this is a, one of those value signings, like minimum guys that you can get excited about. I know he's got injury issues, but it's just far as like his you know play on the field, Matt Breida's can be a really valuable back. So let's get into it. But first... Make sure to like and subscribe. Please, please. We're trying to grow. And we're getting ready to get into draft month, breaking down all these free agents. We do it for you guys. So please like and subscribe. And uh, if you like this stuff, you'll like the rest of the channel. All right, let's jump into it. We're going to go through these outside plays, how he bounces them back in, and then some inside zone. Again, they didn't use him much like that in Buffalo. And I didn't feel like going back and, you know, you watching old film with him. And then a little bit of stuff in the receiving game. So first, we got eye formation. We're going to do lead toss right. touchdown i mean you, you see you see the speed but you know this linebacker has got like got good pursuit and the ability to like trust your speed to cut this up and not have this d line pursuit most tackles most running backs aren't getting this they're either this linebacker's probably, like probably getting a hand on him and then he's cleaning up the tackle we'll see it from the other view and then that juke at the end I know it gets a, you know, the Diggs gets a nice chip on this linebacker. But cutting it up. Bam, it's just like, this isn't much to break down besides just being fast as hell and knowing when to cut this up. Cutting it up at the right time, not, fall, you know, not, you know, taking it way out to the corner. And that's what I like the most about him is a lot of speed guys, they just take it to the corner every time. He knows when to cut it up. And he knows how to set defenders up, which you'll see on this one. You think, oh, is this just speed? No. This is baiting a defender. So, running a power sweep. You got these guys pulling up. You got the alley defender. A lot of guys just come to this corner. Devontae Booker types cut this up. Breida does a good job as, long, as well as a good block by the wide receiver right here. Setting this defender up in the alley. Bounce it out. 38 yards. Big play. I mean, this is a really good setup. So, again, he's more than just a fast back. And you look at his you know, career numbers. He's been extremely efficient. You don't do that by just being fast. Like, his lowest uh, yards per carry is 4.3 at the Miami Dolphins. Again, set up this alley defender. Set him up, set him up. Bam, bounce it. Not only does it set up the alley defender, it sets this corner up to try and break in off this block. Nice 38-yard gain. Nice big gain to get a drive started for the Buffalo Bills. Next play, we're going lead toss left. Or not lead toss left. Toss left. Or crack toss, sorry. Got this wide receiver cracking down here. The center, Mitch Moore, stumbles out of the gate. You got Deion Dawkins lead blocking. You get your tight end. Just fall, cut it up. He breaks in. Cut it up. Follow here. Follow here. Nice six-yard gain. Here, now, again, this is why maybe, you know, Brito's not going to be the, the bell cow back. Is running these outside plays, they're very risky. They they lead to loss of yards, and that's what happens on this one. You know, and sometimes there's no way out of it to gain up, get a positive gain. And negative, negative rushing plays get you really behind schedule. Like on this one, there's, there's no getting out of this. He's playing up here. He's shooting up here. You know, maybe he could get through there, but that's a, you know, that's a, basically an impossible ask. You know, so it's a, it's a negative one yard game, but I do like, hey, jump through it. Make it a negative one yard gain instead of a negative four yard gain. On this one, what do we got here? Oh, outside zone. 
beautiful setup on this block. Be this might be this is only a four yard game, but this might be my favorite single carry. I mean, he knows these linebackers are flowing. They're flowing, but they, he also gets the cutbacks, which we're going to get to. This is Demario Davis. This is a good linebacker. He sees this guy flowing. He sees this guy flowing over the top. This is who his eyes are on. Stop. Shows a cutback. Linebackers. <laughs> okay. I got to flow. Allows his tackle, Deion Dawkins, who I like a lot, to seal this off. Bam. And now we got a four-yard gain. Because if he just went just fast, 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 they're, they're meeting right here. This is a one-yard gain, zero-yard gain. Again, this is my, my favorite one. Just setting this up. Bam. Now, he's got that stop and go speed. Bam. Five's not able to get a clean tackle. You're getting an extra yard. Now you got second and six. That's a really good down. A really good down to be. Here, now we're going to go at some of him cutting it back up. Because of flowing defenders. We're going off tackle to the left. Cut it back up. You got defenders flowing. Flowing, flowing. You got yourself a nice wall to, to cut back off of. Good blocking too, by the way. See it from the other angle. He's filling in, He's filling outside. Sit on it. The speed did not let this guy close down on it. Get yourself a nice seven-yard gain. Beautiful. Seven-yard gain. This next one. We're going we're going power sweep right. These guys are all flowing. Follow this block. Don't just run to a spot. Nice eight yard gain. Here we're going uh, power O, cut back. Now he could follow this. But he's got these guys sealing down. Bam. You get yourself a nice eight yard gain. Nice eight yard gain instead of a two yard gain. So again, he's not just speed, speed, speed. He knows how to cut back, and it's not, and it's not, you know, he's not wasting time doing it. Now he does have some indecisiveness when he's running between the tackles. I mean, you can follow this block. These guys are gonna, these guys are gonna come up to this linebacker. If you're gonna cut, just go. I know you got an offensive lineman on his face, but kind of does a stutter step. Now you got a guy shutting a block. And you're only getting three yards out of it, which could have been, you know, and the difference between three yards and four or five yards in the run game is is a lot. But he does have some nice plays on the inside too. Again, inside zone, press it, getting outside. Instead of just powering through this guy, that's never going to be the back he's going to be. Finds a little hole to slip through. And he's got the speed to get through it clean. Nine yard gain. Three yard gain for most people. For Matt Breed, a nine yard gain. Slip through that hole. Next one. Pressing it, pressing it, pressing it. Defensive end does a good job. Get up field. Five yard gain. Five yard gain. And this is these are the type of run. This is again why he's more than a speed back. This is why he's extremely efficient. So why is in five years his worst yards per carry is four point three behind a uh, dog shit Dolphins offensive line. And then you use him in the screen game, obviously. Right here sets up his you know lets his blocker set up. Okay, instead of just run, run, run to this spot and get a ta get tackled. Cuts it, bam. 
Easy. Bouncing off of guys. Touchdown. Touchdown Buffalo Bills. Touchdown for Brian Dable and Matt Breida. Now, now New York Giants. John Feliciano, not in on this play. So I can't say touchdown John Feliciano. But again, setting it up. Bam. Quick cut inside. We're gone. We're gone. We're bouncing. We're got, we got dudes bouncing off. Hey, we're going to run it. Next play, we're going to run a screen to the right. Again, sets up his blocks well. Slow plays it. Forces guys to choose a side. Bam, get as many yards as you can. 16-yard gain. And then this last play, just running a normal swing swing route to the left. You know, he's the check down. This linebacker plays under. The throw that Allen has, uh, wants is not there. Improvise. Okay, you're going to play under? I'm going. This is before Josh Allen escapes. Go. He sees it. He sees he plays under. Go. Go. Speed, speed, speed. Josh Allen's able to make a play. Touchdown Buffalo Bills. So again, for you know, for what we assume is going to be a minimum type deal, this is an exciting signing for the Giants because I think he can make some plays. Again, he's not going I don't think he's gonna the plan is to have him be the bell cow back, but some excitement from the running back room for a guy who's been able to be efficient. You know, this isn't signing, uh, you know, what, you know, fill in the blank, your favorite fast running back who has some nice highlight plays, but just isn't able to run the ball the right way on consistently. Matt Breida's been able to do that. His numbers show that. So really exciting. Hopefully he can stay healthy. Again, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, Jihad Ward, we'll have that one out soonish i think we might put that one out tomorrow but maybe you're watching it and it's already tomorrow so check it out check out the whole playlist i mean if the giants have signed a free agent who's played in the last year or two we've got it so like subscribe check out the free agent playlist see you on the next one let's go big blue